Why are we in the car, Ashley? First thing in the morning before school starts. I haven't mentioned this, and I may not even like include any of this. Maybe I will. I don't know what our journey is gonna be with this. So the other day, um, Ashley, well, I got the notice that she had a COVID contact at school, and normally within the classroom, it wouldn't have been a big deal because they have masks on, um, but it was at lunchtime, yeah. right? Well, I don't sit we don't know who it was, but we have you know, an idea. It doesn't matter who it was, but the masks were off in order to eat briefly. They have to like take a bite, help, you know, get the mask on. But there was, they have video footage. And so they um, looked at that and the vice principal was the one who called me and she's like, you know, I'm calling you as a mom. I'm just, I'm letting you know as a mom, you should just get her checked out. So because she's vaccinated, she doesn't, she didn't have to quarantine for whatever it is, five or 10 days or whatever. Um, but also, we had the choice to get her tested three to five days after her initial exposure. She could have been exposed last week as well, but we are testing today. And I said, well, cause I said, I was like, well, she's vaccinated and I would like both options. I would like to just go ahead and get her tested here at the school because they have access to tests and it's very difficult to get a test these days as I'm sure some of you can account for. Fingers crossed, right Ashley? Yeah. If she's positive, you know, just stay home. <laughs> Do stuff at home. I don't know. I, we're starting a new round of what does this all mean? People around us are starting to test positive and it's like, really, why are we doing this again? This variant is getting past. Anyway, I'm not gonna go on any more of this, especially because if I mention the C word, then um, I lose some ads on this video. So I actually might bleep out the other time I said it. So we're gonna go in and get her tested here at the school and we will let you know the results. Negative. <laughs> they look like little pregnancy tests. But now I know how to do those little at-home kits. Um, they do it for you. They administer the test for you. You have to swab your kid's nose yourself. But then they do all the chemical-y stuff. But um, there was like probably eight other families <laughs> in there. And it's just funny because it's like, are all of you here for the testing? And we're all like, yes. <laughs> it's like the walk of shame. But my friend was in there too, um, with her son. So that was, she's like, oh, I'm so glad someone in here that I know and know you've been responsible too and that it wasn't any of our fault. Anyway, so negative. Very good news. Now I gotta fight the opposite direction of carpool drop off. Wish me luck. Okay. While I'm already dressed and out, I think I, it's only like nine o'clock. Like her school hasn't even started. We went and got tested before school. While I'm out, I might as well run to Target really quick because why not? No, because Ashley has been using Q-tips twice a day now and I need to go and replenish the supply. She uses them on her ears. You guys, she is so responsible with her ears and it's helping her become more of a routine person for like brushing her teeth and brushing her hair because every time she does her ears, I tell her, if you just make a habit of brushing your teeth that at that time as well, it'll become more of a thing because she gets really irritated when we ask her to brush her teeth. But she is becoming more of a routine person and being re very responsible with her ears and um, understands the importance of keeping them clean. So that's a very good thing. But she's going through Q-tips like no other. So I need to run over to Target really quick. And, you know, I'm sure there's other things that I could find at Target. I really do need to keep on budget though. I'm trying not to spend, like, beside like groceries, I'm trying not to spend this month. All right, so in hopes of Ashley eating better at school, we're trying a few things. I'll show you at home what we've got. It's kind of a secret from the other kids, but I got these apple strawberry little pouches 
she wanted yogurt ones, but they didn't have them. And then I also got her some little diced up peaches. I have applesauce as well. I'll show you the bucket I've got. I've literally hidden it from everyone else. They don't know I'm doing this. Um, but it's kind of encouraging her to eat at school, which is part of our problem. And then I got little snacks for the kids when I'm gone. I'm going to leave those on the counter for the day I leave. I got some sausages and some bratwurst. What are these? Yeah, they're just little sausages. And then hot dogs for Chelsea. Just different meat options for when I'm gone. They all like these kinds of things. If I can make a few meat options easy for him, then I'm going to do that. Then I got some of these dried mangoes. Jason got these for me for Christmas in my stocking, and they're really good. Um, the Costco ones are not as good anymore. They have a different brand, and they're not as good, and they're really tough, and they like feel like you're going to break your teeth, and so I haven't gotten them there. But those ones are probably, they're probably good because there's sugar in them. I'm not going to lie. But I think it's a better snack option than like candy, so whatever. Uh, and then I just got some Clorox wipes to go into my travel bag. So now I'm officially going home and <laughs> getting back into my pajama pants because these are my pants that I'm going to travel with and so I need to like not get them dirty. So I leave tomorrow. I'm very excited but I need to like wrap things up. I need to like, you know, dot all my I's and cross all my T's. As a mom, you know if you leave town, you gotta like, you gotta have everything in order. All right, I wanted to show you my little stash for Ashley in here. Kind of have it hidden in a little spot. So, <laughs> Ashley informed me yesterday. We went through all of these the other day when I got them. I made this little bucket for her to choose from. I got some pudding packs, some applesauce, fruit drinks, and a Pop-Tart, because I thought she would like that option, but she says she does not. So, we are going to take out the Pop-Tarts, and she went through the Target website and picked out a few things that she thought she would like more than the Pop-Tarts. So, then I had to tell her, okay, well, we can't take these out until the kids know that I've had time to go to the store, or else they're going to know that this was a secret, secret stash. <laughs> so, now I can say I went to the store today and I got the Pop-Tarts. So I'll take these guys out. I am going to leave a few in here because I do think she's going to want them eventually. But we'll go ahead and put these little packets in here. She does like these. And it's got little apple and strawberry puree. So hopefully that will help her. Also, I'm going to expose my children. <laughs> like seriously, how am I their mother? How is this like this is not my, my child? Like it's on the floor. There's brushes in the sink. In the kitchen, like, I don't understand why they think it's okay to leave it like this. Like, to just walk away from it. Not gonna lie. It's quite bored today. Sorry, it's dark. So, it is 7.30. You're having a little dinner, right? We're just figuring out what she likes to eat still. Um, we are trying to coordinate the last few things. It didn't quite go so well uh, for me to be gone. And kind of changing plans and getting right. Can you just tell them? They know already. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, wait. Well, because the last video you did with me, I hadn't told them yet. Yeah, I didn't know I didn't tell them. Yeah, I've already told them. Also, <laughs> when this is what you get excited about in the mail, you know you're living during a pandemic. <laughs> so, these are actually just backup. No one is worried about it. But, I'm going to stash them away in here case they are needed at a future date and I literally just have my toothbrush and charging cord to pack in fact I will just grab it now and uh, I think we're gonna sign off with you guys tonight you want to say hi hi he's been home for a while but we've been are kind you, of aren't you bringing school kids yeah is it on the stairs I yeah I want to take a game or two can you go get cash, uh, cover your assets as well, Ashley? Yeah, but um, I've got my little travel bag here. Yes. So I'm sorry, I'm kind of being pulled in, to pulled in different directions. I need to end this video with this clip right here in order to fully finish with the computer and be able to pack it. But I am, oh, I did not need to do that. See, I need to like be more careful with what I'm doing. That was like the worst thing to unplug. 
So I am just kind of finishing up last minute stuff, packing my bag, setting it out here, because I will take Ashley to the bus tomorrow morning, and then I am on my way. So I'm just going to get some stuff done. And Chelsea, you want to say hi? No. <laughs> I mean, at least she's being truthful. Um, can I watch down here? Yep, you can. You can change it. I'm done watching Downton Abbey for a little while. Are you going to miss me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, you're not. I have a raging headache and I am like super tired. So yes, I will definitely miss you. Is that better so you can stand up all the way? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna sign off with you guys. Short video, but stay tuned because I'm we're about to I'm we are about to travel together and it's gonna be a lot of fun to surprise my twin sister. So see you guys soon.